Hey guys, welcome back. I have done some shopping recently at Sephora, Ulta, Target, and some online places, and I have a collective haul for you guys, and I love haul videos. They're my favorite to film, to watch, and to prepare for, so if you'd like to see what I picked up, then keep watching. Most of the items in today's haul are drugstore products, so I'm going to start with the high-end products I have. They're probably the ones I'm most excited about and the ones I've had my eye on for the longest time, so I will go ahead and share what is in my Sephora bag. This first item my fiancé picked up for me for Valentine's Day, and he asked me if I wanted flowers or chocolate, and he knew the way to my heart is through makeup, not flowers and chocolate. So he actually picked up the new Tartlet in Bloom palette for me. and. And I gave him some guidance. He knew I really wanted this. And the packaging on this is completely stunning. This might be the prettiest palette I've ever seen. And it's kind of like getting flowers for Valentine's Day. The cover is um, really pretty with purple and pink petals. And this palette is my first time trying out Tarte Shadows. I know it's I'm late to the bandwagon, but they are amazing. This is the most beautiful neutrals palette, and most of the shadows in here are matte, and actually, I love the matte formula more than I like the um, satin or shimmery formula in this palette. There are, uh, let me see, one, two, three shimmer shades. The rest are all matte, and they are so beautiful. They blend very easily. They are very pigmented, and the best thing about this palette is that it's it smells like baked goods. It smells so good. I don't think it's chocolate, but I just smell like a bakery when I smell this, and it smells so yummy. And if you have not checked out this palette, I would highly recommend it. I've used it about three or four times now, so I definitely have my thoughts on it, and I love it, and I'm so happy he got it for me. This next item I have been drooling over ever since they came out last summer, and I finally got my hands on one. It is the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush, and I picked up mine in the shade Baby Love, and first of all, the packaging is so cute. It's like a little Polly Pocket that I used to play with as a child, and I just think Too Faced killed the packaging on this. I cannot wait to display it on my vanity. Um, they are a lot thinner than I thought they were going to be, but I am so excited to start using this. When you open it up, there is a heart-shaped mirror, and the blush is so pretty. I think it's a perfect everyday color, and I don't wear a ton of blush, so I feel like this will accompany any look that I create. And I love that there is uh, there are two little bunnies and hearts embossed on the actual product. Too Faced is always just so adorable, and I think that this is the perfect Valentine's Day gift for myself. The next item I picked up is a gloss from the brand Urban Decay, and it is one of their Naked Lip Glosses, and this is in the color Naked. The packaging on this is completely stunning. It is like a rose gold, and you can see the color on the end. I will swatch it here for you guys. And it is just a very neutral pink nude color. I think this would look really great paired on a ton of different lipsticks. I have been really wanting these, but they are pretty pricey. They're $20 a piece. So when I saw that Nouveau Cheap on Instagram posted that you could get one of these on the online website Belk for $10 off plus free shipping, I knew that I would be able to get one of these for $10 and I wouldn't have to pay shipping. So I jumped on that offer. If you do not follow her on Instagram, you definitely should. She is constantly posting high-end and drugstore deals that you can get. I will also list a few other Instagram ladies that I love to follow that have great makeup sites down below, so definitely check those out. But I am so excited to start wearing this, and actually I've had this for about a month. I just haven't been able to share it on my channel, and I have already worn it, and I really love it. Now I'm gonna show you what I got at Ulta. As much as I love makeup, I have been so intimidated by the idea of trying false lashes, so I decided that 2016 was going to be the year for me. I was going to bite the bullet and just get over my fears and try false lashes. So I went to Ulta and I picked up a twin pack of the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies. I have heard so many people talk about these and I've heard that they're really great for beginners because they have a small, thin lash band and the style just looks so pretty but still pretty natural. So I picked up a set of these and I actually applied the top set last night for my Valentine's Day dinner with my fiance and they looked so nice I don't know what I was so intimidated by they were actually pretty easy to apply and I loved the way that they looked 
I also picked up the Duo Lash Glue, and this is the one in the green package. It's clear, and it says it has vitamins in it, so I guess that's really good for your lashes. But this had a little brush, and you can just brush on the top of the lash band and just stick it right on. I found that these were both super easy to apply, and I am now kind of semi-obsessed with lashes. Um, I've only worn them once, but now I want to try so many different styles. So if you are a lash lover, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite styles are and your favorite brands because I'm on the hunt for more. I am just so obsessed. Most of the items I picked up were from Target, so we're going to dig in and I'm going to show you guys what I got. I have been trying to get through my dry shampoos that I don't love so much, and it has been a really hard month because I have been without Batiste, and when you're without something that you absolutely love, you realize again how much you need it in your life. And when I finally finished up my last dry shampoo, I decided I was going to go back and get some more Batiste, so I picked up two of my favorite Batiste. I picked up the Dark Deep Brown. This is perfect for dark hair. Um, it just really, you know, cleans out your hair without making that white cast. I love this so much. Also, if you're like me and you are 28, 29, 30, in your 30s, 40s, whatever, and you're getting like gray hairs, which I know it's pretty crazy I'm getting gray hairs, this is kind of really great because even if you're not going to use it as a dry shampoo, you can spray it on your roots and it will cover those grays. So, little tip. I love this for that. I also picked up one of the tropical coconut scented ones. I just love this one. Besides the crisp one, the clean fresh scent, this is my second favorite scent. I love it. And now that we're getting into spring and summer, I wanted a new can of this. This next item was not planned at all. I was just walking down the hair care aisle and I saw this item and I thought like I kind of need this in my life. It is the Con Air Fitted Hair Towel and this is for um, after your shower to put on your hair. It's a lot less bulky than a typical bath towel and it's supposed to be really great to help avoid breakage in your hair and also it's supposed to help with the frizz that is caused by the bath towel so I am really excited to try this and I have heard other YouTubers talking about similar products so I will let you guys know if I end up loving this but I'm really excited to test it out. This next product is from a brand that is pretty new to Target and it is the brand Nug. I think I'm saying that correctly. I have tried their face masks and I thought they were pretty great. They come in these little pods but this is the lip mask and it is supposed to hydrate, soften, and help plump lips. It has shea butter, coconut oil, and licorice root complex and this is 100% natural and vegan. There are no parabens, synthetic fragrances, colors, sulfates, all that good stuff and this reminded me so much of the new Glam Glow Lip Mask, the packaging and everything about it. It comes in this little like gold ball and you just twist it open and inside is the lip mask. It smells very minty and it is just really nice and soft. I did try it out yesterday and really enjoyed it. I don't know um, if it's like the most amazing thing I've ever tried, but I did think it was very hydrating. I believe this was $7.99, so I think it was definitely worth the price tag, and I will keep you guys posted, but I think it's just so adorable, and I love that Target is um, getting a lot of new brands and trying new things. I think that there is a lot more variety in their beauty section now, which is really awesome, and I am just really excited about this. This next product, I think, is a total dupe for the Benefit Give Me Brow, and it is the Essence make me brow and this is the eyebrow gel mascara and honestly I did not know that Target had the brand Essence but the other day I just stumbled upon it and I was so excited to see it at my local Target. This product was $2.99 and I have to say I've been trying it all week and it's amazing. It is so great. There is a small little like uh, wand and the end is just so tiny. It's the perfect shape for getting into your brows. And I love the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper, but I have to say I like this one even more and this is cheaper than that one. And I feel like this is a total dupe for the benefit one, like I said. I love Essence. I have not tried any products from them that I didn't like, and I think that this one is incredible. 
So I have to tell you guys, I think I have found my new favorite nail polish formula, and it is from Wet n Wild. These are $4.99, and these are incredible. I actually picked up the Wet n Wild One Step Gel Wonder um, Nail Polish in the shade Stay Classy, and I wore this all last week, and I loved how it looked, and the formula of this goes on so smooth and even. You could probably get away with one coat. I did do two coats, and it was super opaque, and when you're painting your nails, it, it's not streaky at all. It almost evens itself out and it does look so beautiful. And what I liked about this was that this lasted about five days on my nails without any chipping. There was a little um, bit wearing away at the ends, but I am so impressed by this. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I spend money on Essie, OPI, uh, Zoya, and other polishes and they chip within a day or two. And this lasted five days and I just decided that I was going to paint my nails something else. It probably could have gone for longer but I love the color I love the formula I love the price wet n wild did such a great job and because of that I decided to go back yesterday and pick up three more shades the one that I'm wearing on my nails right now is the shade pretty peas and it is a beautiful mint color perfect for spring I also picked up a beautiful periwinkle blue color and this is in the shade periwinkle of an eye and this is so pretty as well. I love these kind of pastel shades for the springtime. And the last shade I picked up is a beautiful kind of creamy milky pink color and it is called Pinky Swear. I cannot wait to use this. And like I said guys, this is probably the best formula of nail polish I have ever tried and it's only $4.99. So you need to get your hands on these because they are that good. This last product is one that I've had my eye on for quite a while and I couldn't pick it up because I was on a no buy last month, but the second I was done I went and picked this baby up. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and they do have a new formula on pretty much all of their products. These are cruelty free and they are super affordable. This was $4.99 and the pan size is huge on these. I don't know how Wet n Wild does it and the product is so creamy. I will swatch them here for you guys. There is a beautiful sort of pale um, like setting powder, like sort of banana shade. And then there is a beautiful contouring shade. If you are fair to light to medium, I think that's a, this would work perfect for you. And there is a shade that would work great for darker skin tones as well. But these are really creamy. Um, you will have to tap your brush off. You do kind of kick up a little powder when you do dip down in this. But this is so like really great and exciting for the drugstore and I have not tried it out yet I cannot wait to test it out I am a third grade teacher so I don't contour on the daily but when I do um, I cannot wait to use this alright so that is it for my collective haul please hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy my video and found it helpful you may have noticed I switched the format of my video up a little bit and I did try out most of the products before I hauled them for you guys and I think that's really great because then you get to not only see the product, but you get to hear my initial first impressions. I will keep you guys updated the more that I try these products and give you more in-depth reviews in the future. But please like this video if you did enjoy that. And please subscribe to my channel. It is totally free and it will help you to continue to see my videos. And I hope you guys have an awesome week.